Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and uh, I'll be brief on this, but for your leadership in uh, introducing the Preserve Access to Affordable Generics and Biosimilars Act, and I'm proud to be the lead uh, co-sponsor on the Republican side for this important bill. Years ago, when the Congress passed the Hatch-Waxman Act, the hope was that it would dramatically help speed the introduction of low-cost generic alternatives to high-cost brand name prescription drugs. At the same time, it was also hoped that the legislation had struck the right balance to preserve healthy incentives for the innovation of new drugs branded by manufacturers. To a degree, these hopes have been realized, but unfortunately, too often, those hopes have been stymied by the use of pay-for-delay settlements. In these often anti-competitive settlements, the generic manufacturer has filed for FDA approval to produce a generic alternative. The branded manufacturer raises patent litigation in response, and the pay-for-delay settlement buys the piece. The generic manufacturer agrees to the delay for a certain time, and the branded manufacturer agrees to pay the generic manufacturer for that delay. There's just one catch. While the situation looks rosy for the two manufacturers, consumers who would benefit from the lower cost of a new generic drug get stuck still paying the high cost of the branded drug. That is true even if the threatened patent litigation is not justified. However long the delay endures, higher costs prevail. That's not right, and it's the part of the reason the American consumers still pay too much for prescription drugs. The Preserve Access to Affordable Generics and Biosimilars Act would solve this problem, accelerate the lowering of prescription drug prices in America. It doesn't prevent litigants from entering into bona fide pro-competitive settlements that would help consumers, but it does prevent the anti-competitive settlements that just line the drug pockets while consumers pay the bill. And I'd urge my colleagues to support this bill. Mr. Chairman, I yield back.